All right, everyone, welcome back to Mainly Outdoors. My name's Jesse, but for once, it's not just me out here. Maybe you recognize this pickup. We got Chris from the Main Trout Whisperer here with us today. Uh, I'll introduce you to him if you don't know him. Hey guys, I'm Chris Everett with the Main Trout Whisperer YouTube channel. Um, do a lot of similar content to Jesse. We do a lot of fishing and just built this truck cap camper. So we're gonna be doing some more adventures with that. So come check it out if you want. Wow. <laughs> That, this is exactly what I pictured when I wanted to build mine, but when COVID started, I couldn't purchase these heavy rails. And so I didn't have a choice but to use two 24 inch standard drawers. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I haven't really used it much yet, but uh, I cooked on it once. But yeah, first night on it. I'm pretty good. Great setup. <laughs> pretty jealous of that drawer, I do have to say. If you guys found my channel from my truck cap camper and maybe you want some different ideas, uh, he does have a video on that. You guys want to go and check that out. All right, I'm awake enough to yeah. go fishing. You ready to go? All right, so we are starting out at the dam pool and kind of unbelievably, Seems like we have the whole place to ourselves. So we're gonna work our way down to the water, see if we can't catch a couple fish. Yeah, looks like a beautiful morning. So, let's head out there. Good to go? You haven't fished here much, have you? Okay, so the dam pool can be a decent spot. Out where they're standing, it's really shallow, and the salmon kind of sit in it. And right here, it's deep, but there's a shoal that goes out maybe 15 feet. And from there it drops off further and they tend to sit right along that. We can start just to nymph that whole line. And if we're not getting much here, I'm sure they wouldn't mind swapping out real quick so we can try ours and just keep working it until we get some fish. All right, before I forget this morning, I wanna say congratulations to Tyler Farmer. Tyler Farmer won the 12 flies that I gave away a couple videos ago. So congratulations to him. And if you guys didn't win, don't worry, we are gonna do another. When this video hits 500 likes, I'll do another. And if you didn't get some flies and you'd like some right away, you can send me an email below and I'd be happy to tie some up for you. Fish. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, at least it's an okay smolly. <laughs> All right, time to get some sand. <laughs> Good icebreaker though. This morning actually started off pretty slow. They didn't get a whole lot, a couple bass to the net, but actually Chris just switched over to a dry fly and he's been nailing them over there. So once he gets this fish in, I'm actually gonna go over there, find out what he's using and see if I can't get myself on a fish here. That's a beauty actually, holy cow. Nice fish. Nice, what'd you get on? A little too bad and throws up. It wasn't as well. Like a classic. <laughs> that one's seen better days. I'm gonna go get my dry fly rod. <laughs> okay, went and grabbed my dry fly rod. Chris was having good luck on a clink hammer, so I just tied one of those on. Thankfully I had one in the box. And we'll see if we have some better luck now. Got one. Put it on that clink hammer, it was like third cast in. That was a good call. 
Not a big one, though. Nope. <laughs> Behind the back. It feels good. I haven't used much dry flies this year. I just got my first salmon and it's nice to break out the dry flies. Chris was throwing a, uh, a clink hammer, so put on a clink hammer and sure thing, three casts in, four casts in, and I got a fish. Hopefully it's gonna be a nice dry fly bite all day because I haven't done too much of it. Chris has to take off midday, so hopefully he catches a few more, but I'm gonna stick around tonight and see. Oh man, did you see that ride? That had to be a bass. Nice, that's right on top of them. Is that the same one we saw rise over there? That's a nice one. Downstream, we're on a new run. Chris is fishing back up this way and we're both nymphing at this point. The wind picked up and there's still a couple spinners here and there, but the fish don't seem to really be going for them as much as they were this morning. That was a pretty impressive dry fly bite. Wow, that fish saw it right away. He's going for it. And we've got him. I figured I'd tell you guys what we're using. So I've been fishing here for the past four days. I haven't really felt like filming, but what's really been working for me the last four days is this hair's ear. So I mentioned this probably in the last video, and this one is the same olive, but more of a bright, bright caddis, kind of a lime green. And this has been working so well. Just above it, I was seeing if they would just eat an olive hair's ear. And I have had only one fish eat that compared to who knows how many eat this uh, lime green hair's ear. So it's been doing really well for me. Oh. Holy, I was not ready for that one. That's a nice chunky fish. Funny part is they're the same pattern, same size, and I've been fishing here for four days and they've never touched the brown one. They always go for the olive one. So yeah, profile and the style of fly is definitely important, but sometimes, especially salmon, they can get very selective and color definitely matters on occasion. And the last few days I've been testing it out and I definitely see that the, there is a difference. Even if I take that lime green one and move it up, they always go for it. I'm gonna fish through all these little ripples behind me. We've got tons of pockets of water where fish are gonna be holding, and hopefully we can get a couple more here. Gotcha. There's one. Ooh. Yeah, and if you're wondering what happened to my net, broke it earlier this week, so it's pretty much just held together by duct tape. So it's kind of a pain to land fish because I can't actually grab the handle. I have to pinch down where the net's totally snapped in half. 
in hopes that it holds together long enough to get the fish in. There we go. Nope. Next time. Next time we'll get them. <laughs> there it is. Well, that's pretty cool looking salmon. Look how pronounced the spots are on her. Very cool. Off he goes. Well, thanks for joining. That wasn't a bad morning of fishing. No, it was pretty good. <laughs> no, I probably went to had you take the time to do it if it wasn't fishing well. If you guys want to check out Chris's, he unfortunately has to head out. So I'll put his channel down below if you want to check out his truck cap camper or the video that he posts today. I'm going to take a little break, but it's beautiful out. So I'm going to go back out and see if we can't get on some fish later. And I'm sure you'll see Chris in another video sometime. That's right, yeah. So guys have a good one. Yeah. I did end up fishing tonight. Got some fish to the net, uh, but all the audio was wiped out, unfortunately. So we're just gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video and you want some flies to be given away soon, make sure you hit that like button. And if you aren't following along, you can always go down below and subscribe. So thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next adventure. Have a good night.